So what are the various solutions which have been provided? First of first important solution provided by the InsurTech is claims management. What do we mean by claims management? The claims management process traditionally resulted in manually. Okay, I'm getting a question. What is it? Yeah, claims management is nothing but not just reviewing the claims, but also to ensure that if it need to be settled, that payment need to be made. So the claim management actually uh, results in manually reviewing every claim. You were right. And then deciding what compensation to be awarded to the holder of the policy. And then you, you are remitting this compensation to the party. So now insurance, insure tech companies aim to build processes that automate certain processes and detect fraud. There are large companies who can leverage technology to gather and uh, aggregate specific data points regarding specific claims. So these claims may also be validated uh, using automation by comparing different data st streams. Last large companies can use automation or uh, repetitive workflow to pay out a large number of uh, claims with minimum human intervention. So that's how the claim management becomes more successful. After the claim management, the second one is underwriting. I do not know whether I have discussed with you about underwriting in this class or no, but uh, definitely you guys would have learned what is underwriting during your uh, uh, financial markets or capital markets and derivatives. So, do you remember what is uh, underwriting? Mm, okay, it is related to stocks, subscription. What is that uh, stocks and subscriptions? Correct, Varshini. I think you both are aware, but you are not able to put it across in the right terms. Or any subscription in the sense you are stating about the full subscription or the situation where the stocks are not being subscribed. Where do underwriters come into picture? Which part of this? Whether when the stocks are fully subscribed, underwriters come into picture or if the star stocks are not subscribed, this uh, underwriters come into picture. Uh, right, version When they are not being subscribed. So when we see uh, in the stocks, Underwriting is a process where you guarantee buying of the shares which are not been bought by the normal or the retail buyers or the investors. So if the prospective buyers don't uh, tend to buy, the guarantee of buying those unsold shares is called as underwriting. Correct? So how does that stock underwriting has anything similar to in the insure tech? The underwriting process here actually uh, entails reviewing an individual's profile, assessing their risk portfolio or risk profile and extending them uh, an insurance package offer that in if, of, uh, insurance package offer uh, that includes their coverage. The information provided to a client also includes their monthly premium in addition to what compensation they may be entitled to under various claims. So much of this data can be mined or that can be gathered automatically. But even if a client must submit the information, modern technology uses many data points to compare against the historical data that can continually learn grow and make more educated assumptions. So this means the data decides for itself whether to extend a policy to the individual and what is the price, uh, what price is fair for the associated level of risk. So all these things come under the uh, solution of underwriting. Third one is Contract execution, that means whether it is related to paying out your claim, uh, enforcing a level, a uh, different level, insurance level, tire, closing a customer's policy which has expired or proving a new customer. There are a number of contracts which uh, that occur related to insurance and when leveraging blockchain technology, smart contracts can be triggered 
to execute when specific criteria is met. And this eliminates the human element for needing to handle the contract and this allows an unbiased neutral party that is technology here in InsureTech to evaluate the criteria of a contract and decide the appropriate course of action. So that's how the contract execution takes place. The last one is risk mitigation. As mentioned earlier, big data can be used to gather, analyze and summarize the information. This includes analyzing a customer's historical activity or assessing a broad range of claim types. Based on the information which has been gathered, insurers may be able to detect fraud, protect against unsuitable risk, or better understand where they may be most exposed. So that things, identifying of these risks, we call it as risk mitigation. Okay, we proceed further. These are the few solutions which have been provided by the InsureTech. Now let's move ahead in looking into the innovations in the InsureTech. Okay.